Hi there, welcome to Hike Mentors. Guys, we are here to inform you that we are going to start our series about IELTS writing. And it is a full course of IELTS writing that would be free of cost for you guys. So that you can clear all the, you know, queries about IELTS and you can improve your writing scores. And uh, I bet you, you will definitely uh, going to improve your scores. For the basic or the beginner students as well, they will also learn the IELTS writing through this course, right? So, uh, first of all, as you know, in IELTS Task 2 essay, in which we have to write an essay of 250 words within like 40 minutes, and that is, uh, you know, score 6 band, that contains 6 band scores of your IELTS total writing score. So, uh, in IELTS writing essay, we divide our uh, essay into 4 paragraphs, that is introduction, body para 1, body para 2, or conclusion, right? But here we are going to start it with the introduction of the writing because it is really important for you guys to start a good introduction and most of the students face problem related to the introduction of this one. So um, let's start with an introduction. So in introduction you need actually three sentences. One to simple paraphrase your question. Then is your position. I mean what's your opinion and third sentence is optional what are you going to uh, you know discuss in the essay like this essay will discuss uh, why i think this and the, what are my views this in this essay i will going to elaborate all these things but uh, like before paraphrasing you can also add general fact you know, like which i will discuss in the next video in which i will show you how to write fully essay but before that the main concern is about paraphrasing which which is the easiest method to write your ielts writing so, but before that, you need to consider what is paraphrasing. Actually, paraphrasing is an expression or the words of another phrases or sentences in another way. Like uh, an example I have given here for you. Like the school student uh, listened attractively to the, attentively to the podcast, right? So what we can do, we can either change the sentence structure, verbs or uh, the words like here we can say students and the podcast we have simply changed in this like the pupils listen very carefully to the attentively and podcast to the audio files so this is the way guys and uh, now the question may be like from where to learn all these words you need not to worry we have the pdfs that we have prepared for you we have the videos or further videos we are also providing live courses to you guys for IELTS writing so that you can go through this right so uh, and why the paraphrasing is important like most of the students they just uh, ask why to do the paraphrasing actually a paraphrasing fulfill your marks like first of all you are checked for the task response like uh, in your essay what are you going to write so if you write something else from your writing which we have writing your topics so that uh, totally going under the task response wo out of off topic chala jata hai. so that's why here to for the concerning the main topic and using your own words it is really important again it has to you know develop an idea like in uh, here as you see you converted the students and the podcast so the ideas definitely will be going to around the students and podcast right uh reformulate a concept like you gonna brainstorm about it you getting more ideas like what is the really concept of uh where to go the main important thing it is you know there is one more thing that is redundancy that is the part of your lexical resources the repetition we mostly say to it or in grammar as well so what it is redundancy like ek up ek word ko kitni bar repeat kar rahe. if you are you know using people 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 and student 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 so that will be going to mark in your uh redundancy or the repetition so to avoid it so you have to paraphrase not only in your introduction even in the whole writing that i will go uh, that i will discuss in the other writing okay so basically there are three ways to paraphrase First of all, you can use the synonyms of the words like we change the you know pupils. I am uh, sharing an example with you as well. Or maybe verb transformation, verbs, the action verbs like for increasing you can write down the upsurging or spending. You can write down the expanding or you know allocating, right? 
sentence restructuring that is for the advanced students uh, so you you must have a great grammar or of active and passive knowledge and you know writing your own sentences but if i talk about the seven of something scores so i think the use of synonyms and the verb transformations is the best idea to discuss your ielts introduction right so first of all how to use synonyms for this first of all you need to read and understand the question then you're going to highlight with the highlighter the keywords in the question and select the synonym to replace those keywords in my video that i have given the links in the i button you can click here upper so uh, we have also discussed how to understand the essay and how to you know uh underline the keywords what are the main keywords how to understand the essay okay so here is in uh, an example for you like unemployment is one of the most serious problem so here i will request you to pause for one minute and underline the keywords or find out the keywords on your own behalf then i'm going to show you what are the main keywords or how to understand this essay right so it's your turn let's check it out now please I think we can see unemployment, serious problem, developed nation, yes, advantage, disadvantage, reducing working week. These are the main keywords, right? So we can simply going to generate the ideas, but that is not the part of introduction. We need to simply paraphrase the words. Up unemployment ke liye kya lik sakte ho, developed nation ke liye ap kya lik sakte ho. एडवांटेज डिसएडवांटेज के लिए क्या लिख सकते हो सॉल्यूशन के लिए अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट के लिए आप क्या लिख सकते हो 35 वर्किंग शेड्यूल सो हियर यू कैन सी द ऑल द वर्ड्स दैट आई हैव डन फॉर यू दैट इज अ यू नो द बेस्ट आई हैव ट्राइड फॉर यू गाइस सो यू कैन सी इन द इन दिस कलर आई हैव मेंशन ऑल द कीवर्ड्स दैट वी हैव हाइलाइटेड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट सीरियस प्रॉब्लम डेवलप्ड नेशंस advantage or disadvantage or working week right so for unemployment you can write down lack of jobs or you may write other synonyms as well if you have some uh serious problem for grave issue that is really great part of the lexical resources vocabulary is developed nation for industrialized country or the first world advantage or disadvantage for pros or cons and for working week you can write down the professional schedule or the normal hours of the working fine then the second way is the verb transformation you need to find out the verbs like what are the verbs like increasing reducing this this kind of the words like reducing okay facing mostly uh, the verbs the action verbs they are you can you know use the synonyms for them as well you can simply highlight the keywords and you can select the new verbs or transform the verbs in passive ways or in active ways right like here for facing you can write down the confronting for reducing you can write down the lessening lessening the amounts okay so such things uh, i think the first one is the more preferable and more you know i will suggest you to use the first synonym base a uh, method to use and then here it is the second one which is for the verbs here fine let's move to the our next one so sentence restructuring again you can uh, see here an example nowadays many schools are using computer games so i have highlighted the keywords for you guys like computer games inside outside the classroom you can either simply use the synonyms for nowadays you can use modern time in the contemporary world for schools the education institutes for computer games might be digital games could be digital sports e games e sports it could be inside outside you can use as well negative positive pros and cons that can be effect could be impact influence so you need to raise your vocabulary and for that i have discussed many many of the videos in my tiktok on my instagram uh, follow me on the same the name of hike mentors guys and we are providing you the best coaching for ielts and pte uh, we are also providing the online classes so you can call me on the given number or you can get it from the description so that is simply 8307 281 286
yeah call me on the given number for the live classes so let's apply the third strategies so in modern times for schools we have used the academic institutes are employing electronic activities and exercise exercising struct courses to children both at the school at home so we can simply write down here you can see we have totally changed the structure there are another way to write down the active and passive like from changing active to passive that is the different way to write but i think it is the most suitable and easiest method to use simply paraphrase the words uh, some general facts can be added here but for that you have to cram and sometimes they go wrong what topic is are suggest nahi hote hain guys aapke so you should not go with them uh, for theses and for the full essays i have you know i'm making the another i'm uploading the another videos for you guys so please hit the icon battle uh, sorry please hit the icon i bell button sorry guys okay so please hit the bell button and uh, subscribe the channel you can share it with the students who really need it because most of the students face problem with the you know the introduction fine so here again that is the question for you guys you can simply take screenshot of it and you gonna use it in the same words highlight the keywords you gonna use the synonyms so guys for the online classes please call on the given number which i gave you in description and in another videos as well and please share it with the other students who really need it and subscribe the channel and for more videos please stay tuned thank you